and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shaitan Girl. I hope everyone is doing well. It is Saturday. Um, two more days till July 4th. Unbelievable. The summer is like quarter week on already. It's just going by so fast. Um, really warm here today again in the state of New York in the Hudson Valley. Um, some humidity, some rain, you know, yada, 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 same old stuff. So I have a brand new Dollar Tree haul that I would like to share with all of you. I thought I would wear my Illinois hat that I got from Miss Patty for my birthday and I am loving it. Okay, so this Dollar Tree haul has a little bit of everything going on. Um, wow, it is amazing the bargains that everyone is finding, no matter where you live. Like I say, north, south, east, and west, no matter where you live, so many of us that um, haul Dollar Tree items are finding remarkable buys, buys that if you see it, grab it, because if you go back, it's gone. Sorry, I just had a, a hair to go a wild way here. Um, just like all these, you know, it's like they get pallets of stuff and they get it for a good price and you got to get it while you can or else it's gone the next time. So if you can, grab it. Okay, so let's start off with a couple. Um, these really aren't even food finds. They're more like munchies. I'll be honest. They're more like munchies. So let's start off with this. These are the Nabisco Ritz Cheese Crispers. You get a 4.5 ounce box. These are in the cheddar flavored. Um, Patty actually sent me a message. Taco Patty, I was probably last week. She said, keep your eyes open. You know, her and her daughter had just found these at Dollar Tree and I just found them today. So I was very happy to find those. So we'll be giving those a try. Also found something that was kind of different. These are, and it says new, but I don't know how new they are, but I like the chocolate covered pretzels. Those are one of my favorite. These are Flips Stuffed White Fudge Peanut Butter Filled Pretzels. That was the first time I've ever seen those. I had to do like a double take. Um, this is a pretty good sized bag. It's a 3.5 ounce bag. So that's a good bag and they're like right up to here. So I would say that's a pretty good sized bag. The next fun find and I was like, what? I had to do a double take on this. It made me so happy when I saw this. This is by a company I've never heard before. It's called The Rolling Pin company um they were established in 2017 it's unicorn i said unicorn unicorn sugar cookies it's a three ounce package first of all the package is purple so that's just you know all that in a bag of chips and then you got a little unicorn flying on the front now i was reading this package because i'll be honest i watch what i eat as far as like different well i watch everything that i eat but as far as certain places i'm okay eating food with and some places i'm not that's just me how i roll and i'm entitled to it so i got these home and i'm reading it and i'm like hmm one thing kind of struck me a little bit out well first of all they're distributed here in new york um everything here is in new york the only thing that kind of caught my eye a little bit was this one little comment here where it says contains a bio engineer bio engineered food ingredient so contains a bio engineered food ingredient doesn't tell me what it is it just says contains a bio <laughs> i mean what does that mean so i'm going through the ingredients and i see you know wheat flour oil sugar and then some stuff i can't even name I, I, I don't know, so I'm kind of scared now to try these. But anyways, yeah, I got a pack of those. Take a long story short. <laughs> then I saw these, and um, I love my licorice. I really do. I enjoy my, a Twizzlers now and then, but these caught my eye. Willoughby Wallaby Soft and Chewy Watermelon Flavored. This is a four-ounce size. I've never tried these before, so I really have no idea how these taste, but I thought the name of the company was pretty funny. And then Willoughby Wallaby Soft and Chewy Green Apple Flavored. So these have expiration dates until May 10th of 2024. I mean, that's like way out there. Um, four ounces, fat-free, vegan-free, um, and no high fructose corn syrup. So, hmm. yeah, I had the munchies. Okay, the next fun find, and I love me my caramel corn, and that's one thing I miss about Chicago. I feel like I was able to get my hands on more caramel corn in Chicago than I have been out here in New York. Is that weird? Maybe because I wasn't in this, I'm not in the city. So this is next to best to it. 
This is caramel corn made with Wisconsin. Hello, I couldn't tell you how many times I've been in Wisconsin. That was like my next door neighbor, literally. Um, grade A double butter, and this is by Made in Appleton, Wisconsin. Know exactly where that is. Been there, wonderful place, and there is a nice bag of caramel corn. Bada bing, bada boom. And on the back to boot, I always mention, made in the United States of America. All right, this was kind of different. Caught my eye in the checkout, I have to admit, caught my eye, and I don't recall ever seeing these, but I know what airheads are. These are airhead bites. It says original fruit. It's a two ounce package, and that's what it looks like. It says you're gonna get cherry, blue raspberry, orange, watermelon, and a white mystery flavor. Hmm. You know, I kind of get a little bit leery on mystery flavors because Lord knows what that mystery flavor may be. Chance we all take in life. Last but not least, General Mills. I had to look at this box like three times. I'm like, what? What kind of cereal is that? So this is a limited edition General Mills apple pie. Yes, and it's got to be for 4th of July. Apple pie toast crunch. What? First, I thought it was Christmas because I'm like, this dude to me looks like he's chilling, right? He's got a hat and a scarf. Looks to me like Christmas going on. But yeah, apple pie toast crunch. I'm going to have to be really doing, I know I promised you guys an ice cream taste test. There's a method behind the madness. Anyways, uh, the store I was at had more. So I bought more. <laughs> I'm going to do the taste test. I don't want to hear any more. The end. Okay. Last but not least, I got myself a couple of the Fiji waters. Uh, 500 milligrams, so it's a 1.05 ounce pint. I did pick up three. I do enjoy this water very much. Um, to me, a, it doesn't have, what the heck was that? E, I don't know what that was. It's been hot here today, I'm telling you. Whew, it's been a long day. Um, when you have something that has like an aftertaste, especially water, it's like, whoa. I, I don't know. I'm just not about it. But I do enjoy that very, very much. Okay, so let's move on to a few pairs of socks. You guys know how I love my socks. I have an air conditioner, and I just spittled on myself. I have an air conditioner going on over here, so hopefully it's not too loud. It's humid. It's muggy. Whoa, just one of those days. All right. Uh, these say fits shoe size five through nine. These are Beverly Hills Polo Club. I'm talking zebras. Look, are these adorable or what? These are long ones. Now, here's the tag. You know darn well that these are more than a bucket of coin anywhere you go. So those I thought were super cute. Then they had, for those of us that like our flamingos, Beverly Hills Polo Club. There's the tag. There they are. Let me flip them the right way for you. How cute are these? And then they have the black toe. The next pair, OMG, oh, Beverly Hills. Look at your donuts, your coffees. Ay, ay, ay. How cute, right? And these are really, I mean, they're nice. They're well made. They're, um, they almost feel to me when you put them on because the, I don't know, they feel like tights. That's how nice these socks are. They feel like a nice pair of tights, you know? Last but not least, us unicorny lovers, again, Beverly Hills. There it is. Unicornies! Oh, how cute are these unicornies and rainbows? These are just adorable. All right, moving on, just a couple more pairs of socks, but these are by the company Bum, B-U-M, another brand name, Bum Equipment. You get two in a package, women's two-pack, cushion sole, arch support, breathable, uh, sizes five through nine. Ta-da! You get this wonderful color that I have a shirt in from Dollar Tree, actually, and then this blue. I also found this one here, my faves, purple and pinks. There we go. And they feel really nice, too. And then this one here, which is like this baby pink. And this really pretty, pretty mint chocolate chip green. All right, moving on from the socks. Okay, this was, I think, like the most 
fun thing that I found, or I should say my favorite thing that I found. Okay, so a few YouTubers have already hauled some of these and they are gonna fly. All right, so this company is called Stitch and Weft. It is uh, Home Essentials. These are 28 inches by 18 inches. The Stitch and Weft Soft Goods by Home Essentials Kitchen Towel Two Packs. O M G. I I don't even know how to begin to describe the quality that I have in my hand right now. It's amazing. So here is the tag, very fancy. Please be careful. I've already poked myself a half a dozen times. I'm surprised they put these out like this, but there's this little, like it's a pin here. Please be careful. I poked myself a half a dozen times at least. So just watch yourself, okay? So we've got these towels, all right? Here is, let me just open this up here. So you're gonna get two in a package. So here, here is the first towel. My kitchen, my rules, that's right for sure, okay? And then your second towel is all like utensils, frying pans, and things like that. So here's just one of the towels. They are absolutely gorgeous. They feel expensive they feel expensive beautiful so i found this one i found a few different ones i don't know how many are out there so keep your eyes open okay so this is version one version two bon appetit i just had a little julia child run through my head there my mom used to have it on in the kitchen all the time my mom loved her this one here and then the second one that you get is all again different kitchen utensils spatula spoons forks mixing cups ice cream scooper uh all different kinds of things knives so just adorbs adorable so here's the tag for that one there's no other i mean there, i guess i could probably scan this with my phone scanner maybe and see if something comes out because sometimes that'll work but here's the back of the tag the front of the tag again. All right, so that's version two. Version three I found is just all utensils. So here's what it looks like, the first one. And then here's the second one, just all utensils with no writing on there. Okay, so that's three different sets I found. Now, here's the fourth difference that I found. Now, this is also by Switch excuse me, stitch and weft, um, weft being W-E-F-T. Same measurements on these towels, okay? Now, if you're a Ray Dunn fan, which I just happen to be, these are not Ray Dunn. I'm not saying they are, but if you were looking for a dupe, you're not gonna get any more dupe than that. So there you have right there, grateful. And these towels, they're just beautiful. Oh. I can't, like I said, I can't, here's the back side of the towel. Look at how nice that is. Here is, again, their logo on the inside. Beautiful, beautiful. So um, here is your first one where it said, let me fix it here. So we have grateful on one side, and then we have blessed on another. Now, if you wanted to even split these up, I mean, <laughs> You cannot go wrong for a buck and a coin. All right, the next set I found. Also, same company, same size. These are 100% natural. <clears throat> Home is not a place. It's a feeling. Man, that to me is so real, it's not even funny. Because I have walked into people's homes who I've known and felt completely uncomfortable. And then I've walked into other people's homes who I don't even know and instantly feel comfortable. It's just like every house has a smell. I'm not saying it's good or bad, I'm just saying this is so true, because it is just so true. There is the first towel. The second towel in the set looks like this. Again, 
oh, they're so nice. I mean, wow. I, I don't even know how these ended up at the tree. I don't care how they ended up there. As long as we all find them, that's all that matters. Moving on, another style version. I hope I'm not boring you all with these, but there's so many styles I want to show you all. This one, bless this house. Christmas, I know, but it's July. Christmas in July, they do it all the time. I'm not buying it, but I'm just saying, Christmas, Thanksgiving, home, sweet home, beautiful. Okay, before I burn everyone out on um, kitchen towels with stitch and weft, the last version I found is a three pack. So I've shown you what, five, six different versions of a two pack. This is a three pack now, same bucket of coin. 28 by 18 there you go they say hand wash these or machine wash cold with light colors tumble low dry you get three and these are different as well here's the first design here is your second design now these are the first ones i showed you you can see they're white these are more like a beige with a very it's like an orangey red running through it. So there's your second pattern. And there's your third pattern. A buck and a coin for three. I mean, I, I really should have scanned one of these because this has a big scan bar back there too. I mean, look at the thickness of that for those three towels. I am just like so psyched on these. I couldn't believe it. I did get some extras for gifts um, from giveaways as well. I think really that is so much bang for your buck. Now, I found them in three places in the store. In the same store, they had them in three places. Number one, as soon as you walk in the door, they usually have like where they have your dishes, like the new dishes right now, I think are Bees and Home Sweet Home. They had them there. Then they had them down the aisle where they have all the dish towels and stuff like that. Then they had an end cap with more. So depending on where you live, what your stores do, keep your eyes open because they're putting them in different places. So don't just go to the place you think that they should be. They're probably hanging in cosmetics somewhere. I don't know, they do that on purpose. They get you to travel through the store. If you travel through the store, you're gonna find more things you wanna buy. So sometimes that's why things aren't exactly where you think they should be or they're in multiple places. All right, everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up for now. As usual, a whole slew going on over here and more in the bag. There's so much fun stuff. So much cute, cute, cute stuff coming in. I can't even begin to tell you. So keep your eyes and ears open. Until next time, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Bye for now.